Hello everyone, this is Coach Dinosaur. Today in this video, I will discuss about one of the major lines in chess, the French de defense Robinstein. So this Robinstein starts with e4, e6, d4, d5, knight c3. White can also play um, knight d2. Uh, but we would like to literate knight c3 in this uh, opening. So here, black can also play uh, knight f6. Uh, but in Robinstein line, it's d takes e4. So here, knight takes e4, knight d7. Okay. The black's most popular way of handling the d takes e4 so here uh, white should just play uh, knight f3 knight g f6 if black can also play uh, bishop e7 and then after that bishop e3 and knight g f6 but this line will be discussed later on in, in, in future videos I mean so here uh, black plays uh, knight g f6 bishop d3 and now b6 so white bla uh, black wants to create a fianchetto bishop on the queen side um, white can just respond queen e2 this queen e2 is a waiting move where white can also castle on the queen side or king side so here black's response has two ways one is a bishop e7 and or bishop uh, b7 but bishop b7 is a stronger move or the main line uh, bishop e7 is not really good because of the move knight e5 good move it prepares uh, knight c6 which can trap the queen and for example if uh, knight captures pawn takes and then uh, if uh, knight d5 a3 threatening trapping the knight Threaten trapping the knight, and if, for example, uh, play c5, and here c4, knight f6, I don't think that uh, black has a good, good play here. Actually, white is getting more space, and has the advantage, of course, in this position. So here, and if he you know play uh, knight d7 is the same thing bishop f4 and the uh, queen side castling is really good for for white now if he doesn't capture he just play bishop uh, b7 to protect the uh, knight c6 here ha white has a nice tactics knight captures king takes f7 knight g5 good move threatening uh, the, the pawn on e6 and at the same time the check so for example he plays here and it's a checkmate in a few more moves checkmates and uh, if king f8 absolutely it's a fork and so he has uh, only one choice and after that knight takes e6 because queen takes e6 now can be uh, played and uh, can be outplayed by bishop d5 so here uh, knight takes e6 is a very good move because it is attacking the queen at the same time the g7 pawn so if for example uh, Knight C, uh, Queen C8. Black can just 
why can just cancel um, instantly even though uh, black has uh, one piece advantage in exchange of two pawns black cannot castle anymore and the knight and the bishop is the bishop on e7 is really weak and the queen is outplayed the, the rooks are at the corner so it's really hard for for black to uh, maneuver to protect the king so example if he plays here rook bishop takes queen takes queen d8 bishop c4 rook c8 and b3 where the queen is untouchable bishop a3 is coming and this uh, is already losing for for black So let's go back to the position. So bishop e7 is not the right move here. It's um, um, bishop b7. So here, white should play now knight g takes f6. Uh, black can also play this, but uh, the main line here is knight g, knight takes f6, which uh, gives black a much better position than g takes f6 of course if a uh, queen takes is really a disaster is really a disaster move bishop takes and now good move right. so the queen is trapped but uh, black thought that uh, there's no uh, threat in in that type of uh, Bishop takes f3. Nice trick by white. So here is a uh, knight takes uh, f6. After knight takes f6, here goes the pin. Bishop g5. This is the typical pin in, in French defense. So bishop e7. And now castle queen side. Black's main point here is castle on the king side but if there are uh, one other other option um, the knight d7 so knight d7 uh, is play can be played by uh, h4 uh, it looks like a pawn will be taken away from white uh, because of uh, bishop takes queen takes f3 b takes bishop pawn takes bishop queen check and now the queen is attacking the rook of course castling is not so good because of bishop takes so rook has to be moved rook d8 so now a good move queen c6 attacking the c7 of course there's no castling because bishop uh, on d3 and the rook h1 is just waiting for black to castle actually so castling is not the right option here so uh, black should protect the the pawn on c7 of course if uh, uh, this has been moved so it's it's really pity that uh, black couldn't protect the pawn anymore so queen um, f4 is, is a good move also so here d5 queen d6 so queen d6 is uh, protecting the the pawn at the same time exchanging the the queens since uh, bl black has one pawn advantage so here is uh, white will just come down attacking the g7 and of course castling is still not uh, so good rook g8 not so good so here uh, if uh, 
this is not a good move because of uh, V takes threatening a uh, uh, discovered attack. If Queen takes, of course, uh, this is a losing position for Black since the Knight is already pinned and F4 is coming. Rook takes is also coming. So here, uh, Black plays E5 and now G4. And I will leave it to the reader to study more this line. Um, this is uh, a plus. This is just a slight advantage, or not not a slight advantage because uh, black has uh, one point advantage. But most likely, uh, white has more space advantage and more peace activity than the the black side and uh, the king couldn't castle because of the rook and the bishop on h and d3 respectively so here i will leave it to reader to study more on this line but um, eventually uh, there is a very good compensation for white all right so that uh, pawn sacrifice by uh, white can be played so here main line is castling so one of the prophylaxis in white's next move is king b1 so to remove from from checks um, at the same time protecting the a2 if uh, there is a possibility of queen b5 so king b1 uh, prophylaxis move that uh, prevents such um, future attacks so here white has uh, uh, moves such as queen d6 is the main main point here queen d6 but uh, let's let's check out uh, one of the line if ever he does not play the queen d6 so we have c5 here White can just capture the pawn, and there is a threat of discovered attack. But actually, the c5 move is for creating a gambit so that it can open the c file. And if uh, white captures here, uh, I don't think that uh, uh, it's it's very dangerous. It's very dangerous for for white to capture that pawn but here uh, white moves knight e5 creating a dilemma so of course uh, not uh, bishop takes because of uh, uh, bishop takes knight pawn takes is the only move after that uh, check uh, queen h5 threatens checkmate in one move so if uh, f5 now a good move comes in bishop takes pawn takes bishop check king h8 h8 queen f6 and now so this queen moves knight captures and <coughs> an in inevitable checkmate is coming so what a move what a move by so there's a dilemma so bishop ca cannot capture the pawn and now if uh, <coughs> queen captures of course there is a fork uh, bishop takes there you go so if uh, there is a threat of checkmate if knight captures rook so here knight takes G takes and now 
Queen h5 threatens. Check. King h8. Check. And a simple move. Bishop e2. Threatening rook. Rook d3 to rook g3. And absolutely, uh, black does not like such position. And eventually, white has the advantage here. <coughs> so now, if uh, there is a possibility of b takes, but uh, after capture, capture, now knight d7, good move. So of course, uh, queen takes will lead to a disaster and if uh, doesn't capture he has to protect the rook example here knight takes f6 g takes f6 and queen h8 which is uh, attacking the pawn if f5 check and eventually uh or or king f8 it's it's not so good position for for black all right so there is a dilemma that's why uh, the pawn uh, hard to be captured um, in this position and uh, I leave it to the re to the viewer to check it this out more and now let's proceed to the to the main point of the game so instead of c5 uh, black can now play queen d6 all right queen d6 oh there's there's another more aside from queen d6 it's uh, actually uh, uh, knight d5 so knight d5 uh, the same thing h4 knight b4 capture capture if you want a quiet uh, position then eventually you can you can play bishop e4 and white has a very pleasant position here and it's really hard for for black to uh, take the advantage here but um, I, I i guess that uh, this position is really simple but very good for white but if white wants to create a uh, tactical compensation he can actually play a good move not a good move but um, a tactician's game plan bishop takes h7 so of course if uh, black will not capture that that's that's a thank you it's a thank you i can just uh, play back and then um, you know the king on h8 is really not so good uh, of course, uh, black captures. Now it's a knight g5 check. If you move here, there's a queen uh, h5 plans to checkmate. The only way to protect it is this. But after that, knight captures. Then white is winning by a pawn. At the same time, the black king is not safe. So here, instead. Uh, black can also play uh, King G6, but this King G6 is uh, not not so good in a, in a long term position. Why? Because of this A3, Knight D5, check. Of course, uh, he has to protect. That pawn. Uh, after that, uh, we have here uh, rook e8 attacking this pawn. Of course, it's really awkward if you if you put the if you put this bishop there and I guess, and it's not so good. The the g file will be opened. The king cannot still move there because of the because of this strong knight. And uh, black is already not in a good position. White will uh, create massive pressures on both the 
uh, G file and uh, H file and the, the the square on F7 and H7. So after after this, uh, rook moves there. <coughs> so after that, uh, Queen G3 can be played. C4 Queen D6 Rook E5 Knight E7 and then Queen E3 <coughs> and it's really yeah, this this can be played This can be played, okay. But here, if you really want uh, uh, a very uh, strong position, uh, uh, sorry, it's a uh, rook e5, and uh, there's a lot of pressure um, on 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 e6. At the same time, there's a uh, there is a c4 that can uh, break the position and I will leave it to the reader to study this line you can also play uh, the quiet uh, the, the more tactical line and queen d2 then rook e g1 so the because the king the, the, the strategy here the king cannot move on f7 and h7 that's why the knight on on g5 has a very good uh, hold to the position so yeah but if you really want a quiet quiet and you don't like such um, tactics then um, bishop e4 is for you then i i i will leave it to the viewer to study more on on this kind of uh, uh, setup all right so here let's uh, we have uh, queen uh, d6 and now knight e5 uh, you remember that uh, the, the knight e5 has a lot of ways like knight d7 threat knight takes f7 threat so here it's a uh, rook a d8 rook h e8 of course this is not possible because of this all right so c5 because the d7 is already protected by the rook on d8 after the d takes c5 queen takes c5 and now f4 so here uh, white has a slight advantage and uh, again i will uh, leave leave it to the viewers to study more this line i have given you a very good position um, starting on this uh, position against a uh, robinstein line um, i hope you like this video and thank you for watching Please press the button subscribe if you want some more videos in the future uh, games or analysis. Thank you for watching.